Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. It's uh, Tuesday, so we do this segment we call the Energy Corridor right here. Houston, Texas, what else would we be talking about but energy? And it's a unique feature, and uh, Ken Batman brings us some great information every single time he comes on. He's with a company called Vicam Eco Fluids. Vicam, V-I-C-H-E-M, Eco, E-C-O, Fluids, dot com. And uh, we bring on some interesting guests to talk about what's happening out there in the energy front. Uh, today's guest, uh, before we introduce him, uh, but uh, his name's Michael, Michael Wolk. Uh, his company is uh, very, very complimentary, really, field-wise, with Vicam Eco Fluids. Before I introduce uh, our guest, though, Kent, why don't you kind of give us a 411 on Vicam and uh, how people can get more information about that. I already gave that part to VicamEcoFluids.com. Tell us about Vicam Eco Fluids. Okay. Vicam Eco Fluids. Uh, Vicam, we make biodegradable drilling fluid that has uh, a very similar rate of penetration to petroleum mud, yet it's clean, bio- it degrades fast, and uh, has a bunch of other great qualities that make it the, the best way to drill clean and green. Clean and green, and, uh, and not only green in terms of the environment, but green economically because it is recyclable. Well, and, and it makes a lot of money. And it makes a lot of money. Yeah, that's true, too. I like that part. That may be my favorite part. You know, I'm, a, I'm one of those capitalist big types. So Picaro is an interesting company. I love this. Listen to these themes, Kent. Extreme science, ultimate simplicity, absolute transparency. Those are, I, I guess you could say, are the values for Picaro. Michael Wolk is the president and CEO of the company. Welcome, Michael. Would you call those your values? Uh, they sure are values, and great to be with you guys. Glad to have you on. Kind of give us a four one one your elevator speech. Yeah, so so Picaro is a, is, a, is a technology provider. We make the world's highest precision instruments for measuring molecules in the atmosphere, like methane, which is the primary molecule found in natural gas. So if you consider what's happening in the U.S. now in terms of an energy revolution, it's really about the ability to get gas and, and oil out of these unconventional formations and. The ability to do that a long term is really predicated on getting support from uh, the American people. So natural gas is a very, very green fuel. Um, it's a great bridge fuel to more sustainable sources at some point. But that's only actually true if you can keep the gas in the pipelines or in the wells and actually burn it into CO2. If you lose it as a fugitive loss, it's really not as green as it, as it ultimately could be. So our technology finds these leaks at about one-tenth the speed and, and is able to quantify them really with, with no additional training beyond just having the driver's license. So that, that's really what we do. Did you say a driver's license? <laughs> just a driver's license. <laughs> I it, Kevin, you can't work there either. <laughs> Dang, another place I'm not qualified for. All right, Kent, why don't you jump in there? Well, I, I, I love it. I mean, that's, that's exactly right. I, I like uh, methane all the way around. We had a, a biomethane process, project a, a few years ago, and, and you're exactly right. Something that... that We've got very abundantly right now. It's inexpensive, it's clean, and we can move to a to a renewable source of that in the future. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, and so it makes a lot of sense. So tell us, uh, you know, uh, kind of give us an overview of the type of companies you're working with, Mike. Well, we're working with we're working essentially with companies throughout the natural gas supply chain, uh, distribution companies, the people that deliver this gas to homes and families every single day and have a responsibility to deliver it safely. Um, sometimes these gas pipelines that have been neglected for decades can, can leak. Uh, there are a lot of leaks out there that, frankly, people don't know about. In the worst-case scenario, they can actually be quite dangerous. So we're working with local distribution companies, and now we're actually working with upstream natural gas production companies and the fracking sites around the country to show that they can actually get the gas out of the ground and do it in a sustainable and, and clean way because you know the word fracking doesn't really ring very well with with many folks thanks to the media correctly thanks to the media correctly it, it, it can be done actually in a very sustainable way yeah i'm a big fan of fracking but uh i think the media has done a, a horrible job like it usually does in conveying what fracking is all about kent well your question well, you know that's exactly right when you think about natural gas the only concern is you know safety uh we're, we're always you think that natural gas has a smell? We add the smell. I mean, without without your equipment, we can't we can't detect it. Is that correct, Michael? 
Well, that's exactly right. And, you know, when you smell it, yeah, that, that's generally a very, very big leak. But the most dangerous sort of leak, just think about dangerous situations, are the ones that go undetected and, and are only seen when it's too late. Right. So how, do you, how, do you, how do you find those scenarios before they build to a hazardous condition? That's what our technology can do. And then that's really what, what is, is, is required to run a, a really, really safe enterprise. Hey, what part of the country are you in, Michael? Well, we sell instruments all over the world, actually. Yeah, but, but where are you about, corporately, corporately located? Well, we're in Santa Clara, California, right in the heart of Silicon Valley. But, you know, I'm in Austin, Texas today, so we're doing business right here in the Lone Star State. We're in the Northeast, all across this country, working with really the center of, uh, of natural gas production, which now is, is, you know, the Saudi Arabia of natural gas. It's the United States now, so that's where we're focused. Yeah, I like that. Kent? <laughs> Uh, it's exactly right. We we, we we have become who we used to emulate. That's at school. Uh, other other gas forms. I guess you detect uh, you detect radon and other things like that. Other sites. Well, we don't do radon, but we do do many other species of, of gas. So carbon dioxide, for example, carbon monoxide. We we can detect all of those at, at precision. That, by the way, gentlemen, on the order of a. A single part per billion in one second, so just really, really high sensitivity. But we have a whole family of devices that we we, we deploy and sell to scientists that are trying to understand what's going on with greenhouse gases or or, or soil respiration, or in this case, really energy production and citizen level safety. Yeah. By the way, uh, to learn more about the company, you can go to Picaro P I C A R R O dot com Picaro dot com, and uh, yeah, I, I I see a huge list on there of uh, things that you guys are involved in analyzing. I assume you're in the process of continually expanding uh, that list based on needs that, that arise. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, if there's a molecule that requires high precision measurement, uh, and we, 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 we're, we're interested in that. Right now, the, the sector that we're most focused on is energy. We think, you know, while, while, while dot com was a great run for the world and technology was great, it really didn't change the geopolitical landscape. Energy will. It's an economic renaissance in this country. The, the challenge now is to get that gas out of the ground, deliver it to the consumers in a safe and climate friendly way and that's where our technology is focused yeah i like that very interesting picaro p-i-c-a-r-r-o.com picaro.com and you know uh we're you know we like to talk and we like to create uh, great verbal pictures about the future of energy but the stuff that you guys are doing is where energy is today you know and frankly government efforts to try to force a, a move to clean energies continue to lead to bankruptcies and so we need to really get smart in exploiting what we have mike well that's exactly right i mean <clears throat> look I, I think government can be behind the curve and so what i mean pe pe people have the ability now with modern technology to self-regulate and by i mean companies and the companies that use technology to show the people that live around these production fields around gas pipelines that the natural gas industry can be safe that those companies that leverage this technology will gain competitive advantage in terms of permitting, leasing, distribution rights over their competitors. The good guys win in this scenario. They don't always win normally, but in our world, we think good guys win, and you win with technology. I like it. Mike Woke with Picaro. Thanks for being with us. Ken Batman, of course, with Vicam EcoFluids. He comes on every Tuesday with an energy uh, story like this one. Uh, thanks so much for bringing this one to us, Kent. Thank you. And Enjoyed it, Mike. Thank yeah. you, guys. Really enjoyed it. Love being in your state. Thanks. All right. It's a great state. We're glad to have you. VicamEcoFluids.com. That's Ken Batman's company. Make sure you check that out. And uh, thanks again to Mike Woke with Picaro.com. I'm Kevin Price. When we come back, we're going to have much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at USDailyReview.com.